In this video, I'm going to show you how to create features inside WordPress so that users can be notified of replies to their own comments only. So just to give an example, this is a sample post that I've created and this is the incognito window so that I can show you real world uh, scenario on how users experience your website. So if they go here and they can leave a comment, this is some sample comments I've left here. These are the default features inside WordPress. You can just have a comment added, but no subscription related features. Let's change that. So I'll close this window here and I'm inside the admin area of my website and we're going to use or I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. One method is free, but it's limited in terms of the functionality. But the second feature or second method is uh, it does. It's a paid solution or a premium solution, but it has a lot more functionality when it comes to comments. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're getting a lot of comments on your site so that you want to add this feature. The second method is, I say, more recommended. So we'll talk about that. So let's get started with the first method. I'll go to plugin section and we're going to install a new plugin on our site. So I'm going to go to add new plugin. I'm going to search for subscribe to comments reloaded. That's the plugin name. And this is the plugin I'm talking about. You, you can see, uh, or you can verify if you're following along the tutorial. It's by WP Cube. It has plenty of installations and it's updated two months ago. It works perfectly fine in my uh, testing. Let's install the plugin here and we'll install it and wait for it to finish. It's usually installed in a couple of seconds. It's done. So let's also activate the plugin here. So now the plugin is activated and you'll see here that a new menu entry has been created for the plugin STCR subscribe to comments reloaded. Now there are plenty of options inside this plugin. So I'll just explain how this works and how you start, get started. The first thing I would want you to do is go to the comment form here and just make two changes, right? So first what you should do is change the subscription type to or replies to this comment and change it to advanced subscription and then just go to the end and click save changes and then it should work. Now, once again, uh, once you save your settings, you might see the advanced subscription uh, bringing this feature up. Now, if you want to have a kind of a default setting option available for users, so you can have the subscription option set to none, all comments or replies to this comments. So if you want this option to be set as default for users, you can just do this and then go and save your settings. Now, how does this option work? Let me explain, give you a higher level understanding of how this plugin works. This plugin obviously allows you to create a feature where users can be notified of replies to their own comment or the entire post, and it creates a subscription for them, which they can manage via a management page. I'll show you how the management page works, and you as an administrator will also have a management page. So technically there are two kinds of management pages, one for the end users and one for the administrator. So you can see what kind of subscriptions are being created. But there's a third feature here, which is called manage subscriptions here. So once any kind of user subscribe to this, I'd say any post, you will see all the subscriptions here where you can customize and manage them. Now, since you've done this or we've changed the comment form to this, now let me uh, tell you about the rest of the features in just a minute and then I'll actually demonstrate how this works. So if you go to any of these rest of the options, rest of them are just cosmetic changes you can make to the language of the plugin. So once we made this change, now if you want to have, you can see what's the custom label like, what should be the message like, what should be the subscribe label, pending label, author label you can just add all of these or modify one of these now i would recommend that you look at these links and do not change these links because this is important that you have this otherwise you won't be able to access important links through the messages that they get so if you customize this make sure that the link does not change otherwise you'll have run into problems once again you made this change, you can go to the notifications area and you can see what's the sender name like, what's the sender email like, reply to address, subject line, you can customize the email as well and double check subject line and everything. So whatever, what content is being sent out, what's the notification, what's the, whatever users see, it's completely customizable. So it's quite a feature rich plugin where you can actually just uh, uh, customize every single thing about the entire experience for the user. So. Once this is done, what I'll do, I'll open up an incognito window here. I'll resize it properly and I'll open the post once again. Hopefully it's on my clipboard already. All right, so I'll just open the post once again. And now if I scroll down and you'll see this is a new feature replies to my comments, notify me of follow, follow comments via email. So now if I leave a comment, all the replies to this comment, I'll be automatically notified about them. The subscription will be automatically created. So now if I leave a comment, then subscription will be added, but there's also a subscription page that users can manually subscribe to by clicking on this button. And as I said, the messages that you see here can be customized here. So if I leave a comment automatically replies to my comments or replies to any user's comments, they will be a subscription will be created and they will be notified. Now, just to give you an idea, 
if I open the subscription, uh, this option in a new tab, this opens up this page where I can manage my subscriptions. So this is the subscriptions for users. So all that they have to do is enter their email and click send and then a personalized link will be sent to them over their email, which they can click and they can manage their own subscriptions on the site. So it's a uh, little, let's say two step process, but since I'm just testing it out, so I'm gonna, not gonna rem, uh, show it to you here, but what I'm gonna do is actually leave a comment so that I can show you how these subscriptions work. So I'll just say, hello, once again, my name is Yuvraj, email is dummy at dummy2.com no website i'll just enable this option and then replies to my comments right so i'll just post this comment here and now it is done so now since i have left a comment even though the comment is not approved from the back end i can still go and manage my subscriptions and now if i click this a subscription link will be sent to me where i can manage my own subscriptions all right so i can return to the post here and go back here now if i go to the comments here you'll see the new comment here even if it's not approved let's just approve it just in case now if i go to uh, stcr and we go to comment form and management page all the options are the same but one thing as i mentioned you might notice is the manage subscriptions button which is where the subscriptions will show up so now i just subscribe to this now you can see the subscription what is the post id the subscription was created on when it was created on and status that means only for the replies so now you have bulk actions you can delete them you can suspend them activate and set to notify you can change the subscriptions from the back end and you can delete them as well so it's a quite a feature rich plugin where you can do a lot of things for end users now let's go to the site as an administrator on the front end and we'll open up the test post here and if i now go here now you can see I can manage the subscriptions of this post. So if you want, as an administrator, you're logged in, you want to see all the subscriptions for a particular post, this is the management page for you. So click this button here, and now you see this is a subscription created, and I can do the same things here. So here you can manage all subscriptions. I don't know if there's a filtering option because I haven't tested out extensively this plugin, but I'm pretty sure you can do this here. But if you want to just, if you're already on the site, you can just go here and see the subscription be created. Then you can invert, click here, choose your actions, unsubscribe, suspend, convert it to all comments or replies to more comments and you update subscriptions. So it's quite a feature rich plugin for uh, managing subscriptions for replies. But that's of method number one. Let's also talk about method number two and how it's a more powerful comment management solution. So the next solution to manage comments better and uh, give users the option to get notified about their own replies is a full comment management solution. So it's called Thrive Themes and Thrive Themes is a suite of products that give you, I say different products for different use cases. And if you go to the product section, you'll find a lot of products and they're absolutely fantastic products. Theme builders, architects, quiz builder, all this. We're interested in Thrive Comments. Now, Thrive Comments, as I mentioned, is a premium solution, but it offers just more than, or a lot more than just giving users the functionality to get replied over their comments. It's a full comment management solution and it can gamify your comments on the site as well. So how do you actually install this? It's a little, I'd say a two-step process. So if you can go to this link, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video where you can go and check out the features and then make a purchase if you like to, it's quite affordable. Once you have done that, just go into your dashboard as I have right now. I'm already logged into my account and you'll download the Thrive Product Manager uh, plugin, which is a plugin that you'll get from the site. And then using that, you can actually install Thrive Comments on your site. Okay, let's go to Members Dashboard. So in the Members Home area is where you'll find the Thrive Product Manager plugin. Since Thrive is a suite of products, they have a management plugin which allows you to manage, activate different products on their site. So you, just, you can just click this button once you've made the purchase and have an account here, and it will just give you a zip file to uh, save on your computer. Now, once that is done, you can just uh, leave it here. Just go back to your site, go to Plugins, go to Upload Plugins. You can add new plugin here. And when you add new plugin, you have the option of Upload Plugin. So once you have done do this, you just click here, add this here and you can install the plugin now. Now, once we have the inst plugin installed, we'll just need to authenticate this plugin using our account that we just created. I already have it created. I'm assuming you will create it as well. And once you're done with that, you'll automatically see what kind of, I'd say, products you can install using Thrive. So inside the product manager, you see this is a new, when the plugin installed, the product manager is showing up. You just click here. And this will say, hey, log into my account. So I'll just click this button and it'll take a few seconds. If Since I'm already logged in, it might just do the verification. But you, if you just not signed in, it might just open up new window and you might need to just enter your credentials and it'll just connect to your account directly from the backend. All right. 
So I'm since I'm logged in already, uh, or it automatically worked for me. Now I have the entire suite of products because I love Thrive. So I have all the products here. You might not see all of them or you might not be able to install all of them, but you'll see all these options are available. So what you have to do is just click the install product for comments since you bought the comments and just install selected products. And that's how easy it is, right? It makes it simple a central repository to manage all your products in Thrive. So once this is done, you can also go back to plugins and you will be able to see that Thrive Commons is now installed. This keeps the plugin automatically updated as well. And you can share some uh, anonymous data with the team if you require. And I'll just do this because this is just a test site. There's, there's no data here. So now you can also go back to the Thrive dashboard and you'll see different kind of options here for the specific plugin options. So now if I go to Thrive Commons here, the product manager is where you activate or deactivate products. And once you activate a certain kind of product, you'll have the options here. So if I go to Thrive Commons now, this is where all the functionality will be. Now, even before that, if I go to comments here, you'll see Thrive Commons moderation is a new feature that's added by Thrive. Because as I said, it's a complete comment management solution. So it has keyboard shortcuts, it has variety of ways to manage your comments, it's a new look for your comments as well. And you can do all sorts of stuff inside the comment options. So this is where the benefit of Thrive comes in. If you have a lot of comments coming to your site, then it's a management solution that includes that feature we're going to talk about. So once again, I'll go back to Thrive Commons and I'll just briefly run you down the features that you get and then I shall tell you about that specific feature. So the general settings, you can have um, all the Thrive Commons activated. So I already activated or it's activated by default. You can deactivate it if you don't like. Then you have the settings for, hey, users have to register or logged in. So for example, if you don't want any anonymous comments, then you can just disable it. And then you can uh, users can comment with their website accounts, which I personally don't like, so I'll disable this. Then disable commenting, break the comments, enable remember me, and even enable GDPR consent settings. All the settings are available in the general settings. Then in the comment conversion, you have some amazing options. So what happens when somebody leaves a comment for the first time? This is a very powerful feature. So the default option is that you can just leave them a message on the screen. That thank you, name, your comment has been submitted for the post, blah, 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 which is great, right? But you can do something extra. If you click to social share, not only you'll get this custom message we can you can customize, they'll have social sharing buttons as well. So they can click and share this on social media, giving you more traffic. Then you can also show them related posts or you can redirect them to a thank you page, a special offer page, all that is possible. The opt-in form feature is also available, but for that you need to have Thrive Leads, which is a lead capturing plugin. So if you have that, then you can also just send them to an opt-in form so they can get a lead magnet or something like that, which is again a powerful feature. Now. Comment conversion has two sections. So what happens when a user leaves the comments for the first time? And what happens when a user returns and leaves a second comment? So you can have custom features for both of this. So what you can do is if a user is leaving comments, I say second or third time, then maybe you can opt them or then redirect them. And the first few times you can just give them social sharing options. So again, full comment management. Then you have the sign in options that they can enter their own website URLs. You can have uh, social sign up features for Google and Facebook. That's also cool. Then you can customize the styling as well. So right now the accent color is this. But let's say if I try and pick a different color, let's go with something like green, which can match the uh, theme of your site. Okay, it's not reflecting here. Okay, this is the accent color. This is cool. Let me just make it a little darker then because uh, it'll look nicer. Let's make it a little dark. All right, so you can change the accent color. You can have avatars displayed as well, and you can choose a default avatar. You can have dates, comments, or relative dates, and absolute dates, and you can hide the dates. You can have the show powered by Thrive Comments as well. Then you have the voting and badges, which is pretty cool. You can enable this new feature inside WordPress for ups, upwards and downwards. Any social media platform has this feature, which gamifies and say, quantifies the attention a comment gets. So it's pretty cool. So you can have the up and down button. You can see a live preview here. And you can also have up only, which will just make an up only or no voting. And then for voting, you can enable users to be registered. like that. So example, do this. You can see the live preview here. And you can also see a mobile preview, which is pretty cool, right? So you can just do this and see how the comments will look like. And you can also have badges. This is again a gamified option for comments. So now award uh, badges to moderators. So you can have, I said, different kind of badges to moderators and even commenters. And you could have conditional displays for this. So right now, if I say comment badge title, so the condition can be the badge will be awarded to the number of approved posts reaches 10. So if somebody has 10 comments and all of them are approved, you can say, hey, love. And now there's a new badge. And then you can say, uh, batch title second where there are featured comments or upwards if they receive let's say 10 upwards for a comment then you can give them let's say a cup where i pretty much noticed there was a cup here 
or you can give them this kind of a badge. So now users are, I say, incentivized to leave comments and also have more comments and upvotes on their comments. So it kind of increases the likelihood of people leaving more comments, people leaving insightful comments. So all of this is possible with Thrive Comments. Now coming to the feature that you've been actually watching this video for is the notifications options. This is where you can customize the notifications. So you have this option here and you have two types of options. So customize comment notification and post notification. So comment notification is where they'll get notified when a user replies to their comment and post notification is for any comment for the post. So any comment, regardless of it was, uh, if it was a reply to their comment, this will get, uh, or this is the feature where you can customize this. So if I click the pencil icon here, this will open up this option. So now you have complete control over customizing this option. So customize notification. So you have email replies, so you can just have change everything and you have short codes here, which you can see from here. So you can just never forget it, even if you change it and you can just completely say, so you can say mm, comment author. So I can just say comment author, new reply to your comment. So I'll just say comment I'll just copy and paste this. This is faster. I'll copy it and I'll say comment author and I'll just delete this part of the, the section that I just added. Comment author, new reply to your comment, right? So this is this uh, the subject. Then you have the email content, uh, which is like the subline. And then you can see a live preview of how the email will look like. Reply to source commenter. You can change this. There's a beautiful button here. And then you can have this, all this, and you can have the unsubscribe link added here as well, which is technically already added in the, uh, already added to the actual email template. So this is a beautiful feature where you can customize every single thing. And if you make changes and you don't like it, you can always click this and revert to the original settings. So this is how beautiful it is. You can just click save and these say settings are now customized. Now you also go to the customize post notification, click here, and then you do the same thing for post level notifications. Now, one thing to remember is that emails being sent out from Thrive will not work unless you have an email service connected because WordPress emails are not reliable because they're sent from their own servers. So you'll need to connect an email service provider. And I'm pretty sure if you're sending out emails, you already have a service connected. But let me show you how to connect uh, it here. You will click the add new button. This will open up a new tab for connections. And you need to add a new connection here for any kind of, I'd say, whatever email service provider you're using. So if you click and add new connection, then you can have a lot of apps here. For email marketing, we support or Thrive supports Active Campaign, Aweber, Campaign Monitor, Constant Contact, ConvertKit or Seva, Drip, Fluent Serum, GetResponse, UpSpot, iContact, keep all these plugins or all these services. So what you can do is just click this and then you'll have an API key. Uh, that you can go from your account and fetch it and just add it here. Click connect and it'll be saved to your uh, Thrive account. And using that, you just go back to this page, refresh it, and then the connection will be uh, I say updated. So anytime now when uh, users actually subscribe or they, they get comments to their emails, this service will be utilized in the background to send out emails. So it's important to do that. Otherwise, the uh, feature for sending out emails won't work. All right. So you also have comment moderation features, which I already demonstrated. You can have this feature customized who can comment, who can moderate the comments. And you have advanced settings where you can do uh, automatic linking and moderate replies, which is very powerful. So if you are, let's say, doing affiliate links or you have, we want to share a link to related posts, so you can just have automatic links added to uh, any time a moderator replies to a comment. So if a lot of comments, then you can have that. And you can also have customized translate labels and page speed optimization features. So again, Thrive is an amazing plugin for, let's say, managing your comments on your site. All right. So hopefully now you understand how to make sure that you can uh, notify your users for any kind of replies on the site. Already showed you two methods. Method one was free plugin. Method two was Thrive Comments, which is a, uh, it's a premium feature, but very affordable, but it has a lot, lot more features. Which of these features or which of these plugins, which of these methods will you use? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, then also the comment box is open. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel for more WordPress content. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching WBeginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.